One of Hollywood's prized PLC agents, Taki Watiti, as I like to call him, well, he is piggybacking off of another white man's work with his new half-hour series called Reservation Dogs, featuring four Native American teens in rural Oklahoma committing crime and fighting it. Now, you would think this would draw claims of stereotyping and racism during a show starring Native Americans being criminals and being identified by being from a reservation, but of course, these sorts of things are allowed when their chosen tokens are given the green light to do approved projects starring people of other races. And this is supposed to shield white liberals from being seen as what they are, the grand wizards of races. I'm sure this show will be used for a lot of virtue signaling while the show's very title is stereotypical and racist itself. More than likely, it will portray white man bad, but but specifically white conservative man bad. Taki Watiti, the producer of this series, is the same guy who has set out to destroy Thor in favor of the upcoming MCU, where the bulimic built Natalie Portman is set to take the Thor role. And he loves spending time on his Twitter mocking and insulting fans about it showing Disney Marvel, Disney Star Wars have the same damn policy. The company hires people who attack fans, shamelessly. And since the mainstream's POC agents have zero creativity of their own, why Titty is out to do some racist ripoff of Reservoir Dogs. Sterling Harjo is the native sellout who is collaborating on this story that will be on the FX channel. Isn't that fun? Hollyweird announcing future projects while being the same people pushing for the rest of the U.S. to be shut down and out of jobs as they continue to get to work and announce things. Reservation Dogs is an obvious complete ripoff of another man's work as you can see in this publicity still. And the morons who like to outrage over nothing never seem to realize when they should be offended and outraged. I assume that's part of being told when to be offended by your mainstream liberal masters that many regular folks still sadly listen to. But here it is, more bullshit for the 2020s. And for you people who think 2020 was a bad year, buckle up because we are just getting started. 2020 was not and is not the problem. It's the libtarded people that exist in it with us and they'll still be here ruling in the mainstream in Hollywood as long as you support it.